Hello, welcome to another best Mac apps video. My name is Andy. I did one of these videos two years ago and I've been getting a lot of requests to do it again and updated one, so here it is. This is the ultimate list of the best Mac apps here in 2016. Almost all of these apps are free. We're gonna go through all the free ones first in alphabetical order. And then at the very end, I'm gonna introduce you to some of my favorite paid apps for the Mac. Let's kick off this list with Alfred for the Mac. Of course, this is always on the best of list. This is a free productivity app for the Mac that lets you search your Mac, search the web, control your Mac quickly and easily. I will boost your efficiency or boost your productivity. Definitely something that you wanna have on your Mac. It's like spotlight on steroids. Next up is Amphetamine. So if you know me, I'm a huge fan of the, the free app called Caffeine. Well, that app still works, but it hasn't been updated in years. So this is my replacement for Caffeine. It's called Amphetamine. It basically just keeps your Mac awake and it's one of my most used applications. Well, Caffeine was one of my most used applications and this has replaced it recently. So it will be one of my most used applications for my Mac. Next up is App Cleaner. I have used this app for years on my Mac. It's the best way to uninstall apps on your Mac. Uh, the regular uninstaller with the Mac will just uninstall apps and leave all the other junk files behind. Well, this will actually uninstall the main app along with all those junk files that are usually left behind and get rid of them. So it's the best and most efficient way to uninstall apps on your Mac. Next up is Better Touch Tool. Now, if you own a trackpad or a magic mouse, this is a must have. Uh, it's free right now, but it will be moving to a paid model but it's only gonna be like three bucks. This is another productivity app that lets you create custom gestures for your trackpad or your magic mouse. Comes in handy, it lets you pretty much create any type of gesture. If you can see how I'm switching the tabs here on Chrome, I'm doing that very quickly and it's just with a custom swipe that I set up with Better Touch Tool. Pretty cool. Next up is Burn. This is a free open source DVD burning software for the Mac. It hasn't been updated in a while, uh, but it still works perfectly to this day and it's my go-to app whenever I'm looking to burn a DVD or CD. Of course, we got Chrome. This is Google's web browser that everybody pretty much knows about now, but it is my only browser that I use on my Mac. I don't really use Safari and I pretty much gave up Firefox because all the add-ons that I use on Firefox are now available on Chrome. So Chrome is my favorite web browser for the Mac. Copy Clip is a clipboard manager. So instead of just being able to copy and paste one thing at a time, this will remember multiple things that you've copied and it'll let you quickly access those on your clipboard and paste those into whatever you need to. So you don't waste time copy and pasting or cutting and pasting. Of course, Dropbox, this is one of my favorite cloud storage options. It's great for backing up uh, your Mac, your data on your Mac, or just storing stuff online that lets you access uh, your data, not only from your Mac, but other devices as well. Uh, I've been using this for years. It's a big popular name probably by now. So you may have heard of it, but this is definitely a must have Mac app for me. Evernote, my favorite note-taking application. So this is a cloud-based uh, note manager. Uh, so you can create different notebooks that have different types of notes in them. Anything that you want to organize and collect and remember all your ideas. For me, it'd be uh, YouTube videos. I keep all my YouTube ideas and outlines in this. I can access it from anywhere and it's definitely a must have for me on my Mac. Flux is another one of my favorite apps. Okay, so this will change the color temperature of your screen as your sun, the sun goes down in your area. So uh, instead of you staring at this bright blue screen all night, this will gradually change the color temperature of your screen uh, to a warmer color and it will dim it slightly as the sun goes down, depending on, you know, it tracks where you're at. So it knows when you when the sunset is happening in your area. It's just an awesome app to have. It definitely makes you feel better, uh, helps you sleep better. And I always have this running on my Mac. GIMP is like the free open source version of Photoshop. So if you don't want to pay for Photoshop, uh, but you still want to use some of the Photoshop tools, this is the closest thing you're going to get to it. I don't really use it that often, but it's good to have in case I do need to make some type of Photoshop edit without Photoshop. Google Drive, of course, this is probably a known name. You probably have this already. If you have a Google account and you don't have Google Drive, just go to drive.google.com, but it's basically online storage, just like Dropbox, very similar, but I use them both. Uh, Handbrake is a free open source video converter. It's been on the best of Mac apps list for years. It's a classic. I don't use it that much anymore because there is another video converter that I use now, uh, but I do always have it installed. Next up is Hidden Me Free. This is just a quick, easy way to hide all your desktop icons. So for me, if I'm about to record my screen for a video, 
I'll just start this application and it hides all the icons that I have on my desktop. Hit Film Express, this is one of the best free video editors for your Mac and for Windows too, but uh, since we're focusing on Mac, if you don't wanna pay the money for Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro or even iMovie if you don't have that already installed on your Mac, this is a powerful video editor and it's completely for free. It does some, some really cool things uh, and, you, and it does take some getting used to, but if you want to get into professional video editing, check out HitFilm Express. Uh, I just discovered this app recently, it's called Infinite, and it's a clever and fast way to share big files with anybody. So if you need to share like a folder full of videos or a folder full of music, of course you can't email that, it's too big. You just install Infinite and bam, you drag it to Infinite, the little icon in the, the top menu bar, and there you go, you're all set. You can send it to anybody that you want. LibreOffice is the best free open source office suite that you can get. Um, of course there's OpenOffice, but I do prefer LibreOffice. It's basically like Microsoft Office, except free for your Mac. So if you don't wanna buy Microsoft for Mac, check out LibreOffice. It does everything that you need to do pretty much. Next up is Pocket. If you want to have a bookmark manager or you just wanna save web pages or websites or interesting things that you find on the internet, save it all to one place that syncs to the cloud that you can access on any device. Pocket is the app for you been using that all the time for years on my iPhone and my Mac. Sketch is a very convenient app to have, lets you annotate documents and images quickly and share them with anybody very easily. So uh, if you have Evernote, you probably wanna get Sketch installed. Of course, Skype is a household name by now. If you haven't heard of Skype, then I don't believe you. Skype is still the best uh, video chat other than FaceTime or Google Hangouts, you know, Skype is still pretty popular and it's a great way to make free video calls to other Skype users. Smart Converter, this is the video converter that I was talking about earlier. This is a very simple, easy way to convert videos and audio files to any other type of video or audio file for any particular device. Uh, so if you have an iPad or iPhone, they have presets for it. You just convert the video for that and bam, it does it easily, quickly. Um, it's the one I use when I want to quickly convert any type of video or audio file. I just discovered this one recently too. This is Spectacle. It lets you basically move and resize windows with ease. Where did I come up with that? So yeah, uh, if you are into productivity, of course, as you can tell, I am. Uh, this is a great way to move the windows with short key keyboard shortcuts. Now, you know I can't live without my music. I'm listening to it right now. You can't hear it. Spotify, I'm a premium member, but they do offer a free version of Spotify if you want to do that. Either way, you should install Spotify on your Mac. Next up is super duper. If you're not backing up your Mac, then you are doing a big no-no. You might want to stop this watching this video and back up your Mac. Uh, but I like to use this in conjunction with Time Machine. Time Machine is good to back up your data, but super duper is good to have when you want to make a bootable backup of your Mac hard drive. Team Viewer is a fantastic and the best way to remote control your own Mac or help others when you need to remotely control their screen. So for me, if I need to help my mom out with a computer question, she lives like hours away, I just make sure she has Team Viewer installed on her computer and I can access uh, her computer from my Mac using Team Viewer and it's fast, it's free, it works great. Text Wrangler is a free text editor for the Mac. I used to use Sublime, but I believe that it's paid. Uh, but so if I ever need to uh, work with any type of code, HTML, stuff like that, Text Wrangler is my go-to free app to use. Transmission is the best BitTorrent client for the Mac. It's free, it's open source. A lot of people like to use uTorrent. I stand by Transmission. I've uh, been using it for years. It's quick, it's lightweight. I've never had a problem with it. It has all the features I need. And if you need some type of BitTorrent client, definitely go with Transmission. Another one of my all-time favorite Mac apps is the Unarchiver. So this is just something you wanna install on all your Macs. It's the, one of the first uh, apps that I install when I get a new Mac. And it lets you um, unzip or zip any type of zip folder. So zip, rar, 7-zip, tar, gzip, bzip, all kinds of zips. This will handle it all. You'll never have to worry about running into some type of zip file that you can't open. VirtualBox is the best free way to install Windows on your Mac. Uh, I use Parallels, which is a paid program to do that because it has some more features and it, the UI just looks better than VirtualBox. But VirtualBox is awesome for being free. I mean, pretty much does whatever you need to do as far as managing a virtual machine that has Windows or Linux or any type of other operating system installed. You can run that from your Mac using VirtualBox. VLC, the absolute best media player that there is for Windows and Mac. I've been using this for years on both uh, operating systems. It's one of the first applications I install. It can pretty much play any media file, any video, audio file. It will be able to play it 
Uh, you don't have to worry about QuickTime or anything like that. Just install VLC and you're good to go. Xmind is a free mind mapping software. If you ever need to create a mind map, uh, the free version of Xmind pretty much does everything that I needed it to do. And it helps a ton when you're doing a project and you need to get everything lined out in modules and stuff like that. So Xmind, highly recommend that for mind mapping. Now I'll mention some of my favorite paid apps for your Mac. First is being 1Password, it's a password manager. It's the best one out there if you're a Mac user. Uh, it's got a great UI, uh, it's secure, and it works for your iPhone as well. And it only has a one-time fee, which is awesome. Check out Password Manager if you're tired of remembering all these long passwords for all your different sites. It lets you keep everything secure in one place. Daisy Disk is an awesome utility that will show you what's taking up your disk space. So if you're running low on hard drive space, you can see what's taking up the most space and you can delete and clean up your Mac hard drive so you can install more crap on it, right? Okay, so next up is Pixelmator. This is a fantastic photo editor for the Mac. It's like an easier to use version of Photoshop. So if you're into photo editing or just want a solid photo editor for your Mac, Pixelmator is the best application for that. Next is PopClip. This is a productivity tool that whenever you select a piece of text, it will give you certain actions and options that you can do with that text, sort of like when you're on an iPhone. Uh, it just gives you that, that feature on your Mac, but it also has a little bit more functionality than just that. Uh, check out PopClip, it's awesome to have. Definitely save you some time. And finally, closing this list out is Unclutter, another productivity app for your Mac. It basically gives you this drop-down window for your Mac that you can access from anywhere and you can store notes and files and clips to it. There you are, you're done. You made it through the entire list. That was impressive. Um, this was my ultimate list of the best Mac apps in 2016. Let me know which app intrigued you the most. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know of any other apps that you may know of for your Mac that I did not list in this video and that you think everyone should know about. I will gladly appreciate that. I love doing these videos. I love introducing people to new apps and I love discovering new apps myself. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a like and thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.